Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, and we're gonna win at Dodo's minigame. So yeah, there's a bit of a rhythm to this minigame. You've gotta do it to the music. Uh-oh, Dodo's in a pretty bad mood. Keep up your statue disguise and jump to avoid getting pecked. Get ready, because he's coming this way. And there we go, we did it. So we don't get to fight Dodo this time, but we should get some reward for that at some point. Probably in this room. Yeah, he left an item behind. Pick up a feather. So let's take a look at that feather. I assume it's an equipable. Yeah. Speed up by 20. Interesting, is that good for anyone? Not really. Oh well. Maybe it would be good for either Mallow or Bowser. I mean, speed is just a stat that I'm not too concerned with, but anyways, we did that now. So let's explore the castle here. This Nimbus Land castle that's been that's been taken over by Valentina. I'm absolutely exhausted. I hate being a guard. Valentina only gives us the most boring jobs to do. But I guess this beats Dodo's job. Dodo has to polish Valentina's statues every single day. Ha, huh, here's how I'd do it. Hey, tell me something. Do statues move? No, statues don't move. Then, explain this! It's one of those high-tech, er, lifelike, realistic ones. Let's get out of here. So, yeah, we are no longer Gold Mario. And if we head out this way... Man, there's a lot of ways to go. So this is out the front of the castle. We can come and go now. Okay, that guy's still talking about the guards, even though they're not guarding right now. What happens if I talk to Garo right now? Why are you back? Come on, put a little effort into it, okay? Good luck. Yeah, why are we back? We just got snuck into the castle, and then we just left. We're back c because we're curious about dialogue. Anyways... Let's try going this way first. We've got some new enemies. Joffle's sleeping. So yeah, we've got a sling guy. An Orbison and a Jawful. 
There's two Orbisons, so let's try taking one of those out. Mega Recover, because yeah, we want to see what all these guys can do. Joffle's awake now. So yeah, we've seen what these Orbisons do. Scroll Bell. Alright, so Joffle's doing some stabbing. Sling Guy apparently can turn us into a Scarecrow. I assume Sling Guy has a slingshot, and I'd like to see that. Didn't the normal Shy Guys have slingshots? You just ran away! Get back here! I wanna see your slingshot, Sling Guy. I'd say we're probably right to take out the healers first. Yeah, there's that slingshot. Let's get rid of you before you get away or turn someone into a Scarecrow. Also, I know that Peach can't really damage the Orbisons, so that's another reason why I went after the Sling Guy. Seems like a good time to heal up. Since we're gonna win this round now, and we have taken a good amount of damage. We weren't necessarily low on health, but, you know, damage had been taken to everyone. Bowser reaches level 18! Bowser learns Bowser Crush. Okay. So I guess let's get Bowser in the party so we can see what that move is. I mean, I do like having a healer in the party. And Gino and Bowser basically both just hit hard. Bowser still has a lot of moves to learn. Bowser's ultimate weapon! Maybe he doesn't still have a lot of moves to learn. But he, surely he's gotta learn a few more, right? They all just say learn a new te uh, learn a new technique at level 18. Even though a couple of them are already level 18, so maybe this is Bowser's last special attack. Interesting. Well, we'll have to try it out. So this guy blows us back. And there are some of these guys throughout the castle that will be on whatever setting that you set that one guy to back in Monstro Town. So if you have them set on Blast, they'll be blasting you away and you won't be able to get past them. Anyways, these are called Pinwheels.
they're not that strong, apparently. So this leads somewhere, but what if we went the other way? Because this is a way we can go, this is a way we can go, which leads us back to the room we just went to. Only we're up top now. I guess let's just slowly make our way through here. I messed up the timing there. Is Bowser's ultimate attack a multi-targeting attack? Grinder! Bowser Crush? It is an all-targeting attack. Hit Y repeatedly. Summons a giant Mecha Koopa. That's awesome. I love a rare appearance from a Super Mario World enemy. But back when this game came out, Super Mario World was the last mainline Mario game. Unless you count Yoshi's Island, but that's the start of the Yoshi's Island series. It was just labeled as Super Mario Wor World 2. Alright, so you guys undid Peach's attack. Which I do not approve of. Mario reaches level 19. Nice. Toadstool reaches level 18, so she's about to learn a new move. Psych Bomb. So before that pinwheel gets us into another battle, what exactly is this new move? Make me mad and boom! Okay. These descriptions don't always help all that much. Like, remember back in Mario's where it's like... Where it's like, stomp foes, push Y just before hit, or... Fire orb, push Y repeatedly, and like... It, yeah, it actually told you how to do the move. But with these later special move descriptions, you can't even tell what the move is, let alone how to do it. Either way, this guy's too weak to try it out on. Mallow reaches level 19. Nothing on top of this block, it looks like. I want to go down and fight this guy and see what's in that block. Alright, I'm doing some nice timing on those blocks. Oh, I was still on Peach. I thought I was over to Bowser for some reason. I'm like, Bowser can one-shot these guys, but it was Peach attacking. Ah, yes, because Bowser needs the attack up. So, there was a flower in there. Ah, 
I know that there's four invisible blocks in this castle, but I think one of them you can't get until you've gotten through the castle. We'll try this way next. Just a whole bunch of birdies. Our HP's still looking pretty good. Bowser can one-shot these guys, so we'll... Maybe he can't one-shot these guys. The way that guy was lifted up before attacking made me think he was going to run away. So yeah, that statue of the birdie there was actually an enemy disguised just like we were. Bowser can attack the Heavy Troopa, and Mario will finish off what Peach started. Heavy Troopa's ready to launch. Well, we will not have liftoff. And hey, look, these guys. Remember these guys, our buddies that aren't our buddies now? We've got some shamans, so this is a new enemy. Doesn't seem like we're gonna get to see what they do, at least not in this battle. How about this one? There we go, there's plenty of enemies here that we can wail on while we're waiting to see what the shamans do. Diamond Saw! Yeah, as you would expect, they used magic attacks. Flamestone. Does nothing to Peach, apparently. Well, we don't really want to wake up Jawful if we can help it, so let's fight these shamans now. And now that Joffle's just sleeping here all alone, we can take him out. Joffle's awake now! Alright then, what's in here? A flower. So this way should be the other path we could have taken. So we should probably go check it out. Did these guys get stronger or something, or just have we never been able to one-shot any of them? Could only Geno one-shot them or something? Oh, 
Oh my gosh, stop missing. There we go. How about you? Yeah, you're an enemy too. I think any golden birdies are probably enemies. We'll take that birdie out and a heavy troop is ready to launch. And of course he doesn't get to, because we're just too strong, but still not strong enough for Kulix. Alright, got a couple of these guys now that we're going to have to fight here before we can get that chest. I was expecting that this door would go straight to that hallway with all those enemies. But I guess we've got this little room to go through first. Heavy Troop is ready to launch. Because we've got more enemies, he might actually launch this time. But probably not. Oh, no, he will. I'd say it's time for a group hug. I don't always keep a super close eye on my- oh. On my health, so, you know, I just like to heal a little bit ahead of time, just just to make sure I don't do something stupid, but then the game just auto-heals you right after you heal yourself, so whatever. Yeah, here's that hallway. And I'm pretty sure you would not be able to get through this hallway if you had those pinwheels set to blast back in Monstro Town. I could be wrong, though, but... Something about that pinwheel affects the pinwheels in here. I was hoping for a once again so that that guy might not get away, but whatever. He got away this time. Peach, why is your accuracy so bad? Why does it seem like these pinwheels are, like, never accompanied by anyone? It's always just us versus the pinwheel. Oh boy, well they're accompanied by stuff now. I'm particularly concerned about that new enemy. That's a recolor of an old enemy. Yeah, this muckle here. Because the old versions of those enemies, the Lucos, they were pretty awful. So I kind of don't want to see what they can do, but I also do want to see what they can do. Let's just get rid of these pinwheels first. Crystal. Okay, that's not so bad. 
especially when it misses. Let's get rid of these guys now so that they won't try to run away when it's just them left. And now we can just take this guy out. No problem. I don't suppose there's any invisible blocks around here. I don't think there are. But yeah, now we're just back out here. So now... We've got three ways to go, and similar to in the sunken ship, how you can sneak past the Greeps, you can also sneak past the Heavy Troopa, but I want to fight them. Let's try these other routes first, though. Hmm, both routes here look pretty similar. And they've got a lot of fighting. And to crease them down to just one left, just like that. How long has it been since we've had a Where's Yoshi minigame? If I didn't sell that lucky hammer, I could guarantee that all the time. But, you know, also my attack would be way lower. Yeah, this is just a nice pattern, having, like... Having, like, Mario and Peach start out with the tag team while Bowser attacks someone else. Of course, then it ends up as a Bowser-Peach tag team for the second enemy. Whoa, nice one, Peach. Wasn't expecting you to finish that guy off. Jawful's sleeping, so we don't want to wake him up. I know there were some enemies similar to Jawful in, like, the final area of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, where they were just these really big orb-like enemies that would... they'd be sleeping when you start the battle. So I wonder if they were inspired by these Jawfuls. Anyways, we got a Lucky. So we're gonna get to play Where's Yoshi now. Just after this Jawful's demise. Now first of all, is it experience or coins? And will we win or will we face our demise? Oh, it's just coins. So it doesn't really matter that much. Ah, we were wrong anyways. Bye-bye, eight coins. Ah, this'll be an easy fight. We can sometimes one-shot these guys. They don't even get to do anything. Gino reaches level 19.
Here's a new enemy. We've got a blue birdie. They're all gonna get a chance to attack before we get to fight them. I want to verify that they're called Blue Birdie. I think they're just called Blue Bird, actually. We're gonna need a group hug after this. All right, group hug time. And yeah, they're Blue Bird. Okay, Bowser, time for your Bowser Crush move. Destroy these guys. That didn't quite destroy those guys. How about we do an Ultra Jump? That didn't defeat any of them. We have to survive another wave of these guys. Thankfully, they're not doing too much damage anymore now that they're not using magic attacks. Let's start meleeing them now. I was hoping for the once again, because if we would have got that, we would have been able to take them all out this turn. Instead, we take one extra damage, which is fine. Okay, so we've got a block to hit here. And that block is pretty special, I'm pretty sure, but we'll see why later. Still avoiding this heavy troopa. We'll make our way through this wave of enemies now. Really, Peach? Alright, the heavy troop is still not gonna get a chance to launch, though. I think it's a good idea to start out with the shamans here. They're the most threatening. Ooh, and we might be able to double something here. Alright, so now we only need to worry about the slain guys, since Joffle's just gonna keep sleeping. And now we take out our sleeping Jawful. He can't even do any damage to us because we're too good, I say, as I fail in action command. Coins again, huh? All right, we got it, though. And that was a lot of coins to double. Oh, man. Would have preferred experience, but I won't turn those coins down. All right, well, Peach can't really damage that Orbison. So she can go for the Shaman. Nice, she one-shot him. 
and we're gonna get a chance to double some stuff here. Take out the Orb of Sun, and now the Joffle's all by himself. Joffle's awake now. I mean, I would be angry if someone woke me up like that too. Woke me up with a punch. Ah, uh, double coins. There was only four coins there. Well, we got him. At some point, it's gonna offer us double experience on a big fight, and we're gonna lose it all. Alright, this should take this guy out, and we'll finally be able to explore this hallway. I don't think there's any invisible blocks around here. Hello, Shaman! Just charging at me as soon as I go through the door. That's kind of scary, actually. You actually do some damage to Bowser. Mario can defend that attack no problem. Oh boy, double coins when there's not many coins to go for. Well, we got them though. Again, I won't turn them down. Bowser reaches level 19. Okay, here's an interesting place. But before we see what's interesting, we're gonna wanna fight this birdie. Just get him out of our way. Is that Jawful that's out on the field? He's important. This heavy trooper might get to launch. Yep, he's launching. I know something that's coming up. Ah, we don't need to heal quite yet. Anyway, so this Jawful is just attacking through the wall here. And that's because there is no... Well, never mind. But yeah, there's not a wall there. I'll show you what I mean once I get out of here. Don't you dare, Scarecrow Bowser. Oh, Mario. I mean, I don't really want that either.
Alright, I guess you can try super jumping this guy, Mario. I mean, it looks effective, I just did it terribly. But doing that much damage with just two super jumps, that's really good. And Peach is level 19. Anyways, yeah, he was stabbing through this area here, and you can just walk out here. And there's even an invisible black out here with a frog coin. I didn't mean to go in here. I thought this was the end of a path. Because I thought there was another invisible black. Yeah, right here. So that's two. So there's two more in this castle. And I know where one of them is, and the other one I don't think I can get until I've gotten through the castle once. So we should be good. Did you know that there are hot springs around here? Yeah. Aw, oh, you're no fun. I wanted to be the first to tell you that. Um, okay. Uh, no, I didn't know that. We get special hot water from Barrel Volcano. It helps cure all kinds of ailments, but only the king gets to bathe in it. I used to be a guard here until Valentina snatched away all my keys and gave me the boot. Guess I won't be needing this master key anymore. Would you like it? Sure. All right, here you go. Just don't tell me what you're gonna do with it, okay? Got castle key one. Is the door behind that heavy troopa locked? I ain't realized that. Why am I going to this menu? Special item, not special. It's a castle key. Go on, take this. Got a flower jar. Okay, um... Um... Oh, we still haven't used the star egg yet. I mean, I guess I'll... I've got so many Caro Caro Colas, but they're like the best item in the game. Guess I'll get rid of my Able Juice. Valentina told me to wait in this room. I'm hoping she'll give me a job soon. Let's use that flower jar, but also... Star Egg, reusable battle item. We need to use that Star Egg. I spent 45 minutes in Great Guy's Casino to get that thing. A dip in the hot springs would perk up the king in a jiffy. Hey, did you know? Valentina's got a huge egg in the middle room. It spits out eggs from time to time, and sometimes when you shield yourself, the eggs will ricochet off of you. Interesting. That's what I thought the middle room led to, I just didn't realize it was locked. You need a key to open the back door of the middle room. But of course, Valentina's got it. But you, you gave me the key. I'm confused. Alright, time to fight you. Oh my gosh, it's three heavy troopas. Um, Bowser, this might be a good time to use your Bowser crush. And maybe an ultra jump?
There we go. None of them are even getting ready to launch. Item Crystalline. I'm sure we've seen one of those in a shop before, but I can't remember what it does. Mario reaches level 20. What is this item? Raises party's defense in battle. Okay. Looks like our health is doing good. I could use a little bit of FP, but I don't really need it all that bad. Let's head on in. Using our key. la di da here you go, big eggy. I'll give you plenty of nutrients so you'll grow up to be big and strong. Oh, 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 Mario's already here. He's a fast one, he is. Oh, 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 it won't open. It's locked. Oh, so that's the door where we need Valentina's key. Ha 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 ha. Something's laughing. We can't reach this shy away, and we can't get through this door. Let's check out this egg that they were watering for some reason. I'm so lonely. Will you play with me? Sure. Thanks. All right, and we're fighting Shelly. Guess we'll just use melee for now. As each attack we does cracks the egg a bit more. And it should be about hatched. And it's Birdo. Hello. I'm Birdo. So yeah, Birdo has now hatched from this egg. And it's boss time. I wonder if a super jump will work. Uh, it wasn't great. Well, I tried to defend that, but I didn't realize she'd do like a rapid fire thing. Uh, hey, Birdo, wanna meet your boyfriend? So yeah, if Yoshi tries to eat any enemy he can't swallow, you get an item called the Yoshi Candy instead, which we'll look at the at its description later, but it's a healing item. How about fire? How do you handle fire? So yeah, this is Birdo's first appearance outside of... Okay, that did nothing. This is Birdo's first appearance outside of Super Mario Bros. 2, which of course wasn't Super Mario Bros. 2 in Japan. And in fact, I think this game is the Shy Guy's first appearance outside of that game as well. Is that true? I think so. So anyways... Yeah, like not counting like TV shows or comics or stuff. Teehee! Ouch, you're hurting me! Now it's my turn. Get it while it's hot! I tried to defend that, I didn't realize it was going for Mario. Oh, 
Oh, I, that missed. Come on. I want to deflect one of these eggs. We're going to defeat her before that happens. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to defend here. Now you're not even doing that move. There we go, so now there's an Egbert here. Let's just keep defending and see what the Egbert does. Uh, you know, we could do a group hug instead of just therapy on Bowser. It's not really necessary, but... Whatever. Are any of these Eggbirds ever gonna hatch? I don't know if that's a thing they do or not. I'm so curious. Miss? What do you mean, miss? Do they blow up on Birdo? Are these eggs bombs? Oh my gosh, they are. That's really interesting, but I guess it makes sense, because that's how you fought Birdo back in Super Mario Bros. 2. You would pick up her eggs and throw them back at her. Oh, I'm never gonna let you go. You're just too... cute! It's cool how they bring back those mechanics and rework them for an RPG formula. Mallow reaches level 20. Got castle key too. Let me guess. It's a castle key. Yep. Don't forget about me. Get over here. Alright, let's not let this pinwheel blow us off into where we were previously. Alright, Peach, you attack one of these muckles. And Bowser, you just try to destroy everyone. Now that Peach weakened that Muckle, maybe you'll be able to destroy one of them and two pinwheels. No, you just destroyed the two pinwheels. Alright, it's probably time for another group hug. And now we'll just melee this muckle to death. Especially with Bowser's strength. With how important Mallow is to this area, I would like to have him in the party. But I just don't really want to use him, you know? Like, he's good in really specific situations. And maybe this is one of them, but I don't recognize this as one of them. Did we get two luckies? Or am I crazy? 
But yeah, like, you have to have Mario, and Mario's just generally good anyways. Especially with his super jump. And then Peach is kind of a must because of her healing abilities. Mallow can heal as well, but not nearly as well as Peach can. And then Bowser and Geno are kind of, are kind of, you know, you can go for either one. They do pretty much the same thing from what I can tell. All right, we doubled our coins, and that was a good battle to double our coins on, too. But yeah, remember when I said this block would be important? That's because there's an invisible block above it. Yeah, that guy's not gonna surprise us. I mean, we're gradually getting stronger and stronger, but still not strong enough that I'll feel comfortable against Kulix. That said, pretty soon we will be able to get some ridiculously overpowered items that I'm not sure if I want to use or not, just because it feels kind of cheap to use them, but also they're so easy to get that I kind of feel like I should. King Nimbus is resting in bed. Absolutely no running in the halls, Queen Valentina. Mario! This can only mean that my mom and dad are here. Hey, wait a sec. It won't open, it's locked. Leave it to me. Looks like it's up to me to get us out of yet another jam. Feast your eyes on this show of brains, and brawn! Stand back! Wait, wait a minute! If my dad's really bedridden, we shouldn't make so much noise. We need another plan. I guess we should find Valentina and force the truth out of her. But... What about the door? Listen, you! Never, ever talk to the leader of the Koopa Troop like that. Oh, I hate... that. I'll ignore it this time, but don't let it happen again. Bowser's just there crying about how he can't break the door down. Queen Valentina! Queen Valentina! We just got ignored. This is locked. We've got another one of these guys to fight. We'll sneak up on them from behind. We should be getting stronger, but we still can't one-shot these these guys, which uh, does not make me feel good about our chances with Kulix. And of course, we still have to fight Jinx one more time, too, which is a battle we could probably survive. I just don't want to do it yet, because it would take way too long. I'd like to get just a bit stronger to speed that fight up. Got a bunch of heavy troopers in our way. Let's use the same strategy we used before, cause you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it.
Oh, I accidentally did super jump instead of ultra jump. Well, now it's broke. So we need to fix it. Switch it back to ultra jump. So if everyone is as high level as they are, then I guess everyone has all of their moves. Because it seems like everyone gets their last move at level 18. We could use some FP. And Peach could use some healing. So let's use some therapy there. And I guess we could use a royal syrup. Let's hold off on that though. Also, we still haven't used that star egg. Queen Valentina! That Mario creature who beat up Smilax is here. Mario? What does a Mario look like? Well, it has a bushy mustache, long sideburns, and uh, a pair of... mean-looking legs. Hmm, I have the feeling I've seen this Mario before. Wait, yes! It was that statue that Garo just delivered. What, what, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Valentina? Well, we certainly aren't going to listen to your pointless chatter. Frankly speaking, I'm not going to worry. Without this key, the king can't go anywhere. Hush! I said shut up already! What the? That... Is, that isn't a statue. That's Mario! Valentina! Hand over the key, now! Yak! How utterly rude. And who in blazes are you, anyway? Me? I'm the real prince, that's who. Brat! And how dare you listen in on a private conversation? Private? Private? Everyone in a ten mile radius could hear you! Hump, if you're going to be this rude, I'm simply going to leave. So long, chumps! Eh? Hey, Valentina ran away! I shall fly the coop too! Uh, I, I think we kind of missed the boat here. So, we'd better get moving too. Come on, let's get them. Alright, so let's chase them down. Got a good old save block here. And I see a normal, some normal encounters here, so... Let's not refill our FP quite yet. Ten two shot these bluebirds. So that's good. I was a little unsure.
so really they're a lot like facing the normal birdies now. Bowser could use some therapy in more ways than one. And now I think we've got another bluebird fight coming up. Yeah, right here. The monster is stunned? Excuse me? I guess we'll skip his turn and we one-shot that bluebird. Let's focus on the heavy trooper then. Caution, confused monster. Oh! That's what that does. The stun thing means we confused them. That's crazy. How did that happen? Defense up. So I'm thinking... Let's switch this up a bit so that Bowser is in the middle. So if we head in here, then we've got more bluebirds to fight, apparently. I messed that up, but I still stunned the monster, so... I guess it's fine. Yeah, if he's just gonna hurt himself, then it doesn't matter that I didn't do that much damage to him. Why does it look like there's a block really high up? You know, those crystal moves aren't really doing anything, so you might want to stop. All right, we know Bowser can one-shot these guys. He just failed to do so. Gosh darn it, Bowser. Whatever, at least we've got a confused enemy now. Yeah, he just defeated himself. So that's that, and on our next turn, we'll have Peach give a group hug. And then we'll finish this bluebird off.
Okay. That's how you get that, and it's a star. And we can even defeat Dodo with that. That could have been an optional boss, but I assume it would have been the same as the last one. And you're clearly supposed to defeat him with that star. Anyways, are we all set for what's to come? Let's heal Bowser a bit more. And then use a royal syrup. And we just fell past some of the places we were at before. Right now, Prince Malo is bathing in the hot springs. It must be so relaxing. The hot springs are up ahead, but only royalty can bathe there, and you don't look so royal. <laughs> Queen Valentina! Queen Valentina, is the king showing any improvement? And how is his wife, the old queen? And Tubby, er, Prince Mallow, where is he hiding these days? Know what I think? Something? Get out of here, something. Get out of here. The truth is... Know what I think? Uh, Ah! Pipe down, all of you! I have better things to do than to listen to your half-wit opinions. And look, while I've been wasting my time listening to your endless chatter, Mario has managed to find me. Dodo! Dodo! Oh, that bird has a permanent brain cramp. Dodo, do you hear me? Get over here now! I need some help entertaining Mario. So move it! Come here, now! Dodo! Dodo! Come here this minute! Don't just sit there! Help me! Flutter Hush! Yeah, Dodo will take whoever the middle person is, which is Bowser now, otherwise Peach would have had to fight Dodo. So, let's melee this guy, that's all we can do since we're muted, but Bowser does melee anyways. Multi-strike? Yikes, good thing we have a lot of health. Oh my gosh, stop it! Okay, I actually need some healing. Do I really have to waste a Carol Carol Cola on this? We do have Yoshi candy. I didn't look at what the description is. I guess let's use a Caro Caro Cola. Or, you know, we could use a Red Essence and just become invincible, but I don't want to waste that on this either. Get a freebie, so I didn't waste it. But he just wasted his turn muting me again. Alright, so that's the one-on-one -on -one Dodo phase done. We still don't have Bowser with us, though. And Dodo's not here yet. So, I wonder if Super Jump would be any good.
yeah, I'd say that was pretty good. We don't really need a heal right now, so Peach can melee. That does some good damage. What if Mario melees? Maybe this should just be a melee fight. As much as I'd love to practice my super jumps. Are Bowser and Dodo gonna be gone for the same amount of turns that it took to do that phase? Cause if so, that's great attention to detail. I wasn't counting though. Dodo, how could you lose already? Well, come on. Get over here. So now we've got Dodo to fight as well. Bowser, you can keep attacking Dodo like you were. Big beast versus beast fight. Bowser's still muted. Yeah, just keep flutter hushing Bowser. It's such a waste. Uh, I mean, we've got a ton of FP, so a group hug would be fine. Now Bowser is unmuted, like we care. I mean, I probably should be focusing on just one of these guys at a time, but... I don't really want to. We'll just keep group hugging every turn with Peach, attacking Dodo every turn with Bowser, and attacking Valentina every turn with Mario. I mean, they can't have that much health, right? Oh no! Good thing we have Group Hug. Mario is no longer a mushroom. Solidify. That's that ice move. Yeah, we definitely need group hug. That seems essential for this. You know, except for when they just do one damage to you. Oh, I can't target Dodo anymore. I guess he's done. Yeah, we've definitely won this pretty easily. I don't believe this. No way. I don't believe this. The show is over, folks. Dodo, let's get out of here. Well, everyone, until we meet again. Mwahahaha. <laughs>that's a lot of experience points and coins, but it is a boss fight. Gino reaches level 20. Great. They're gone.
Hurry, let's go after her. I know she has the key. Ack! Ow! Huh? Mario, look! Mario knew it would rain cuz it rains when Mallow <clears throat> cuz it rains when Mallow cries. Mom, Dad, I'd like you to meet Mario and my other travel companions. I say, how can we ever thank you enough? I'm Mallow's father, King Nimbus. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for looking after my dear child. Allow me to introduce everyone. This is Princess Toadstool from Mushroom Kingdom. Ah, I've heard so much about you. May I have your autograph? Don't embarrass Junior, dear. Oh, never mind. And who is this gentleman here? This is Mario. He helped me from the start. I'm sincerely... I sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart. You don't mean THE Mario. Jumping Mario? Autograph, please. That's quite enough, dear. Okay, okay, then how about showing me just a little jump? A tiny hop will do. Oh, fantastic! Show me again later. Erhem, and who do we have over here? This is Bowser, leader of the Koopa Troop. Oh, another famous person. This is just too much. I must have your autograph. Dear, behave yourself, please. No? Not even a little scribble? Okay, okay. Yes, yes, I'm quite forgetting my manners. Well... Who do we have over here? This is Gino, who I told you about before. Oh, yes, that story about the Star Street. How awful! Star Street, Mallow called it the Star Way earlier. His family just can't get it right. That's Star Road. By the way, a little before Valentina took over, a large star fell into the volcano. Hmm, hmm, but the dreaded Zara Dragon inhabits the volcano. It's going to be tough getting a star out of there. Zara Dragon. Suddenly we've got Final Fantasy enemies. Hmm, perhaps all of you working together could handle that beast. Why, when I was young, I... Yes, dear. Now, once at the volcano, find Hinopio. He'll be able to help you. You be careful, Mallow. Okay, Mom. But I probably won't come back until we find the star. If you have any problems, come straight back, okay? Son, you're just like me when I was your age. I'm proud of you. It's great how King Nimbus is just a fan of all of us. And, like, with Bowser, it's like, he doesn't even care that Bowser's a bad guy. You're looking especially fluffy today, Prince. Long time no see, Prince Mallow. In a corner somewhere, there's an invisible block. Did you know that there are hot springs around here? You've already told us this stuff. The king gave me another job as a guard. Prince Mallow? 
Thank you so much. We were able to rescue my father with the key you gave us. Don't mention it. Besides, it was you who actually rescued him. Good luck in the future. You too. Prince. Here, this is from me. Please take it. Got a flower jar. I'm gonna use that right away before I start having to throw stuff out. At some point, we need to use that star egg. I shall continue to work for the king with pride. We were all able to serve the king again, but we left our houses wide open. Hope everything's alright. So yeah, that was the king's room. My, how you've grown, prince. The king's happier than ever after being reunited with Mallow. You're looking especially fluffy today, prince. We're getting some repeat lines. Long time no see, Prince Mallow. What happened to Valentina? She must have landed near the sky after she flew the coop. Prince Mallow, you're such a crybaby. Rude. Also, how do you land near the sky? I came to uh, see the king's statue collection. I tell you, it's remarkable. So there's statues of all of us now. Mario, Peach... Mallow in the middle, of course, since he's the prince here. Gino and even Bowser. This statue, it... it seems so unworldly. Prince Mallow, you're such a crybaby. Stop being rude. This video is so long, but I do want to, like, actually check out the place now that we've saved it, you know? I'm pretty sure it's in a northern corner. The invisible black I'm looking for. There we go. You're looking especially fluffy today, Prince. Is anyone going to have anything new to say? Before Valentina came, fireworks lit up the sky every night. Some guy in Moleville would make the fireworks. I wonder if we'll ever get to see them again. Yeah, we need to go back to that guy. It's a marvelous statue, isn't it? We can finally walk around the castle and the town freely. People from down under will probably come too. That girl at the entrance will tell you who's here. What? Interesting. My, how you've grown, Prince. You're looking especially fluffy today, Prince. No one in this area? Alright. It restarted the music going into here. And that's kind of funny. Anyways, this video is super long and we've at least explored the castle here. So in the next video, we'll explore a little more Nimbus Land and how it's changed. And we'll probably head to bar head over to Barrel Volcano. We might have some side stuff to look at. But that'll all be next time. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.